Hey, how's it going? Dave2D here. So Razer just announced their new product, the Razer phone, and I've been using their engineering sample for a little bit. I thought I'd share some of my thoughts with you guys. Now, I don't feel like it was an unexpected product announcement. They did purchase the Nextbit company a little while ago, and if you don't remember them, they made the Robin phone. This was an interesting phone. I felt like it was one of my favorite looking phones from last year, but it fell short on the technical perspective. The Razer phone is a completely different beast in terms of the insides. It's got similar aesthetics. I mean, it's boxy and it's got, I don't know, the same kind of vibe to it. Now, the Robin was a colorful plastic phone, but the Razer phone is black, it's all metal, and it feels very tanky. Squared off corners with a very beefy feel to the device. It's got an industrial look, but it's comfortable to use. The Razer logo is on the back and it's pretty subtle. It's black and silver, nothing crazy. And it's not lit with RGBs or anything like that. There is, if I'm not mistaken, a limited edition green logo that you can get. Like if you're one of the earlier adopters, you can pick up one with a green Razer logo, which is kind of cool. The buttons on this thing are really nice. It's a very tactile click. When you press it, you can really feel when it activates. And the fingerprint scanner is just like on the Robin, side mounted power switch with the fingerprint scanner built in. It looks kind of small because the power button is just this oval instead of a circle, but it works fast and it's reliable. It is a flagship phone. It's running the Snapdragon 835, which is a really capable processor. It's got 64 gigs of storage, expandable with micro SD, and I haven't been able to test the cameras, but the back is running two 12 megapixel shooters. One shoots wide, one shoots zoomed. They're both mounted top left with a little bit of a protrusion. The selfie cam up front is eight megapixels, but let's switch gears and talk about what makes this phone special. And the first thing is the screen. This is a 5.7 inch screen. It's an IGZO panel, wide color gamut, but it's 120 Hertz. Now, this isn't the first phone out there with 120 Hertz panel, but because it's Razer and because their products are usually geared towards gaming, this is gonna make for an amazing gaming experience. High refresh rate on mobile devices is not common, but when you combine that with a fast processor, you get a really smooth visual experience. You're able to see twice as many frames as before, so every animation or movement in games or just even the UI will look really clean. Now, this is something that's hard to showcase in my YouTube videos because I shoot at 24 frames per second, and this is happening at 120 frames per second, but even the system UI feels incredibly smooth, and games that can support the higher refresh rate are gonna look awesome. The speakers up front are really good. They're stereo speakers, one on each side, and they're front facing, so it's just really good location. They get loud, there's dual amplifiers in here, and the sound quality is quite good. There's no headphone jack though. There's a USB-C port for both charging and for USB-C headphones, but they also include an adapter for USB-C to the regular 3.5 millimeter jack. There's also a THX certified DAC in here for really high quality audio output. This thing has eight gigs of RAM, which is a ton. There's a lot of laptops and even desktops that still have eight gigs of RAM. And whether or not it's useful really depends on how Razer manages the memory. If they have a really aggressive memory management, then it won't be. But I feel like they'll just let the app sit in memory and it'll be fine because it has so much memory. They also have a big battery in here, 4,000 milliamp hours, and supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 4 Plus. We're looking at a 50% charge in less than 15 minutes. It's quite impressive. So 4,000 milliamp hour battery with quick charge time, can't go wrong with that, right? Phone overall is quite impressive. The specs are really cool. I mean, the 120 hertz panel looks, it looks nice. As for the pricing, 700 bucks, it's not the cheapest phone, but with hardware like this, you kind of expect it to be at that price. I'm gonna be doing a more thorough review once I get my retail unit in, just kind of spend more time with it. But that's basically it, a first look at the Razer phone. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.